Hi to all, welcome to Rams Android. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss the continuation of the previous video that is, uh, we started SQLI database tutorial. This is the last part we are discussing in this uh, SQLI database uh, series. Now, in this part, in the last video, we have discussed how to delete all the records from the list, uh, the records we are getting from the uh, table and displaying in the list view. Now, in this video, we are going to apply uh, two more options that is, uh, deleting a particular record and updating particular record. So first of all in the contacts table, we need to create a two methods. One is a delete a record method, another one is a update record method. So let me create a method public void delete record. Otherwise we can say delete contact. So we are deleting the contact based on the column called row ID. So we are taking that column. So whenever we are calling this method, whatever the record we have selected to delete, that record row ID we need to pass to this method as a parameter now. Now in the SQLI database class, we have a method that is a delete method is available. So first parameter we need to mention from which table we want to delete the record. So we are mentioning the table name. The next parameter is the where class we need to provide. The where class we need to provide as a string object, means a string format. So the row ID we are getting from the record equal to the row id that is matching with the table so db helper dot column underscore row id the next parameter we are not using so we are passing the null value in the same way we need to create a one more method to update the record so public void update record otherwise uh, we can say update contact so we are going to update the contact particular contact based on the unique column row id and we want to update the column name see contact name and we want to update the as well as contact number so this one uh, just we are giving the name is a lead contact so in the SQLI database class we have a directly method available update method so from which table we want to update the record in a sense db helper dot table underscore c name the where class already we have written so you can take the same where class in the next parameter we are not using so we are passing null value um, let me check the method update fine so here you will see it is asking the parameters table name and content values and where class and where arguments so first of all we need to take the content values so already we have taken in the insert record created the content values object in that uh, content values object we are mentioning which column whatever the value we want to insert so let us take the same thing so in the content values class we are mentioning in which column uh, what is the value we are going to mention so in the update method first parameter is we need to mention the table name so db helper dot table name Second parameter is the content values object we need to pass that already we have created here. And the next parameter is the where class. So already we know the where class here. So table uh, row id equal to row id from the table. And the next parameter we are passing the null value. Why? Because we are not using it. Now once we have done this one, we need to come to the main activity. In the main activity, we need to provide two options. That is uh, deleting a particular record and deleting updating the particular record. On the list view, we need to apply. So for that we are going to use the context menu. So we need to create a separate XML file under menu folder. So already there menu underscore main XML file. So here we are going to take two options. Means are two items. One is a delete, another one is a update. So the title we are taking is a, a one item is a delete. So we are mentioning this one is item underscore delete and one more item is item underscore uh, at the date plus id item underscore we are giving the id is a update item underscore update and the title title is update after creating these two items in this xml file in the main activity we need to write a program to create the context menu so first of all we need to override onCreateContextMenu method 
so in that uh, method we need to call get menu inflator dot so we need to inflate the xml file that we have created under menu folder so r dot menu dot menu underscore main next one is the menu object so the menu object is a uh, uh, menu once we done that one we need to register this context menu for the list view so we need to come here and we need to call the method under on create method we need to call the method register for context menu in that we need to pass the list view and once we need to check that successfully we are able to display the context menu or not Now let me, um, sorry, insert uh, new records, save, and one more record, let me insert, save. And once you long press here, you can see we are getting two options, one is delete option and update option. So that we need to write an action, so first of all, uh, we need to override on context uh, item selected, so that uh, whenever you are selecting delete option or update option, this method is going to execute now. So, but we have a two item so that we are writing a uh, if condition get item id equal to r dot id dot item underscore delete so this if condition is for the uh, delete item and the else condition is for the update item so in the delete item whenever we click that uh, delete option we want to delete that record whatever the record we are selecting that record we need to delete but here whenever we long press the record that time we are getting the option so whenever you are long pressing we need to get the record uh, row id so that we need to listen the position of the record why because in the list view the record positions are starting from the zero and the cursor also records are starting from the zero so what we need to do we need to listen action for the list view whenever we long press for that set on item long click listener interface is available so we are going to use that one And here you can see there is an integer parameter. So from the list view, whenever you long press, and that uh, view means that item position will be available here now. So in the list view, item positions are starting from the zero onwards. So we are taking here one integer variable in selected item position. So here, um, yes, item position equal to i. So that whatever the item we are selecting means a long pressing that item position will be available here now. So before getting the row ID to delete the record, we need to move take care of the cursor position. So cursor dot move to position of the yes item position so that uh, the cursor we are moving to the selected uh, record position now. So so to the selected record. So now we need to call string row ID equal to cursor dot get string of zero. So it is getting the row ID, which record row ID we are getting, whatever the record we have selected, that record row ID we are getting now. So here we need to call context table dot, the method we are going to call delete contact method. And in that method, we are going to pass the row ID, the row ID what we are getting from the selected record. After that, we need to call the method uh, update list view method so that uh, list view is going to be updated. Now let me insert one more record. And we want to delete this. Uh, we have three records right now. The record which is having the row ID 12, that record we want to delete. So long press and delete option. See, the exact record was uh, deleted perfectly. So delete option is working fine. Then we need to go for the next option is a uh, update option. So for the update option, we need separate activity. So for that purpose, we are going to create a separate activity here. A new activity, empty activity. And this is a 
update activity. Now in this update activity, we need to create an user interface to update the uh, record, means update the contact. So let me change the layout to relative layout. And uh, here we are going to take the user interface to update the record now. So we need to get the contact name as well as contact number into the user interface. So first of all under text we need to take the plain text and for this properties plain text properties height width is there here view all properties ok fine so this one we are giving update underscore contact name and this one we are changing to Hint, enter updated name and after that we are going to take a number a text and uh, this one is a update c number and we are taking the hint enter updated number and after that we need to take one button button underscore update and after that we need to come to the update activity and here we need to call the array text array text reference array text underscore uh, name equal to means in the update xml file whatever the ui we have created we need to call the uh, references so that uh, find you by id r dot i dot x text underscore update underscore c name and array text Edit text underscore uh, number equal to edit text next find you by id r dot i dot edit text underscore update underscore c number next uh, button button underscore update equal to button find you by id r dot id dot button underscore update now button underscore update dot set on click listener of new on click listener so first of all we need to get the name and number from these array text so array text underscore name dot get text dot to string and c number equal to uh, sorry array text underscore number dot get text dot to string now from the main activity whatever the item we have selected that item row id we need to send to this update activity so what we are doing and this part we are taking out of this if condition so that uh, that row id we can send to the update activity first we need to create an intent class object intent equal to new intent of get application uh, context comma uh, which activity update activity dot class next start activity of intent now in this intent we need to pass the row id so intent dot put extra of we are giving the name is row id and we want to send to the row id now so whatever the row id we have selected from the record this row id only we need to send to the update activity now coming to the update activity here we need to get the row id so string row id equal to um, get intent dot so there we have stored the string value so get string extra after that we need to create an object for the contact table contact table equal to new contact table get application context and contact table dot open db and contact table dot we need to call the update contact so row id next contact name next contact number now contacts application dot close db then we need to call the finish method after finishing this activity we are coming to the main activity automatically here on resume on restart method is executing automatically list view is going to be updated so this is a complete uh, uh, tutorial of the sql database so in this total uh, uh, six parts we have discussed complete an application called 
contacts application regarding this uh, SQLite database tutorial with all options uh, inserting uh, records into the database and displaying into the list view and deleting all option, update option, delete option. So that uh, we want to update this record. So long press and select update. So here I'm giving RAM and number is one, two, three, four, five. And we are going to say, okay, update. Now we'll see record was updated successfully. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel by clicking subscribe button below. And you can like this video, share this video. And we will meet in the next tutorial. Again, once again, thanks for watching.